got the Little League team here. All the guys are here ready to go. We, we got a game tonight. To, also tonight, you know, maybe you want to come down to Rocky River Little League and watch our game. But then later, the Guardians are playing, of course, and Gavin Williams is making his Major League debut. Earlier the season, the Guardians called up Logan Allen. Then they called up Tanner Bybee, who were two of their best pitching prospects. Gavin Williams is coming up tonight. He's been absolutely lights out at double-A AA and triple-A. He was the Guardians' first-round draft pick in the 2021 season. Signed a two-and-a-quarter million dollar signing bonus. They compared him to who? Garrett Cole. Woo! Well, his, <laughs> they're comparing the way he he, he pitches. Woo! Now, that's a, that's and, a and high, similar woo-hoo. size and stature. The way he th- he's big. Uh, he's a big kid. Gee, woo! He's wee. a big kid, a and he pitch, the way he throws the ball looks similar to Garrett Cole. Now, Garrett Cole's one of the best pitchers in baseball. He's been a great pitcher for a long time. Especially he's got a long way to go. But it's very exciting because Logan Allen and Tanner Bybee have come up to the big leagues. They, they both pitched well, well yeah, but well. this guy's the best of the bunch. And he just got drafted two years ago out of, uh, where do you go, East Carolina? East Carolina, correct. Went to East Carolina. He, everybody's expecting him to be the next great Guardians pitcher. Uh, if you if you look at, you know, uh, Gavin Williams coming on onto this roster, yeah. do you believe that <clears throat> they could be moving up the roster? Like, we naturally pr- perceive that, you know, guys that you bring up are going to be at the bottom of your rotation because in the yeah. playoffs, you want to play your best guys. I mean, do you think that they could, these guys, hit you, whether it be Allen, uh, Bybee, or Gavin Williams, do you think that they could put enough ending, innings together and have a large enough sample size where Tito says, if we do make the playoffs, we might want to move one of these guys up to the higher rotation? Yes, and they may have no choice. I mean, think about this. If Tristan McKenzie, the Tristan McKenzie, the word came out yesterday afternoon, he's out, I think, two months. Yeah, no. At least. At least. Woo! Right? Now, I know. I the said injury the same thing. he has, it's his UCL, correct? Yeah. Okay. That injury often leads to a more serious surgery. And if he has surgery at some point, then he's done for the year. So let's say, in theory, Tristan McKenzie misses the rest of the season. Hopefully not. Let's say Shane Bieber gets traded which I think will happen, not a guarantee. Now, you say, well, if they trade Shane Bieber and McKenzie doesn't pitch the rest of the year, the Guardians won't make the playoff. If that were a normal baseball season and the Guardians played in a normal division, (laughs) that would be true. (laughs) However, the American League Central is the worst division maybe in the history of baseball. The Minnesota Twins are currently in first place. They're two games under 500. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before that I can recall. And my recall for baseball is pretty good. (laughs) It is. Now, it doesn't mean it hasn't happened. I just don't remember that happening. Look at the standings. The Guardians are four games under 500, and they're one game out of first. They are tied in the loss column, and we're not even at the halfway point. You played 72 games. You got uh, 90, exactly 90 games left in the season. So even without McKenzie, and even if they trade Bieber, (laughs) and if they do trade Bieber, it probably won't happen for another month. But even if those things happen... They might still make the playoffs. Why? Because Gavin Williams, Bybee, and Allen may dominate. They ha- Who else do they have? The rest of their rotation is Savale. Quantrill if he comes back. Okay. Now, I don't know how Gavin Williams is going to pitch, and we don't know how Bybee is going to pitch the rest of the year or Allen. They may struggle. Gavin Williams could be back in the minors in three weeks. Let's say he gets crushed in his first three, four starts. Mm-hmm. They could send him back. But if he pitches to his capabilities – and his capabilities are through the roof excellent. Garrett Cole. We could potentially see Gavin Williams, Tanner Bybee, and Logan Allen, Allen, all rookies, start the start of, you know the first three games of the playoffs if they were able to make when it. These, Especially if Bieber's traded. When these guys pitch. Yeah, if Bieber's here, Bieber will pitch game yeah. one. When but, these guys pitch, how yeah. many innings are they usually pitching? It's not like it's seven, about, right? It's, it's more like about four. pitches than it is about innings. Okay. I, it generally, when you have a young pitcher that comes up, He's going to throw five to six innings, generally. But it depends on the pitch count. You know, they'll be very careful with Gavin Williams, like they've been with Bybee and like they've been with Allen. The longer you're up, the more they let you go. Mm-hmm. You know you know what I'm saying? So that that factors in. But it's really about pitches. If you get through six innings and you've only and – and Gavin Williams – let's say Gavin Williams comes out tonight and, through, and he's pitching great. And through six innings, he's got 71 pitches. Well, they'll let him pitch the seventh inning, maybe even an eighth inning. It really depends on pitching, on, on the pitches. But they're going to be careful because, you know, there are other – so the Guardians, Tanner Bybee and, and was actually their third best pitching prospect heading into this season. 
behind. Now, now he's excellent. Now is he one behind now? Gavin Williams? No, he's still one. And they have a kid named Daniel Espino. But Espino's been hurt, and Tom, he's hurt. He's Tom, out for the yeah, season. Tom, yeah. So we, you know, and we've seen McKenzie. McKenzie is very slight of build, yeah. very very thin, and they're worried. About, he's had injuries in the minors, and now he's been injured twice this year. Now, Gavin Williams is a big, strong dude. This can guy I, is. Can I give you the physical stats? <laughs> I'm real get, quick? I'm get, what is he like? Six five, two forty. So according to MLB.com and yeah. the top 100 prospects list. Yeah. So to give you just an idea of where he lands, not just in the Guardians. He's the Guardians' top-rated prospect. He's the number 16 overall prospect in baseball. Right. And he's the number four pitching prospect in baseball. He's you listed have the three at guys six, ahead of him. The three guys ahead of him: Kyle Harrison in San Francisco. Andrew Painter Phillies. in Philadelphia, uh, Yuri Perez, who's already in the he's majors. The so he's the Marlins. Yeah. He, uh, sorry, with the Marlins, yeah, yeah, and he's in the majors. And then Gavin Williams, number four. Yeah. So, the, and Taj Bradley uh, with the Rays. Excuse who's me, in the majors too? One ahead of him. Yeah. yeah. So, he's a as highly regarded a prospect as you'll come around, in, yeah. not just in Cleveland, but in all of no, majors. No, big time. He is listed at six six, two fifty. And on Wee, the scouting the big, grade the, scale. The big unit? I thought he was 6'5", 240. <laughs> yeah. bigger. Okay, go ahead. And on the scouting grade scale, which it's not out of 100, which always annoys me. Right, it's that is, different. Yeah, go ahead. He's graded a 65 out of 65 on a fastball, a mm. 55 out of 65 on his curveball, a 55 out of 65 on his slider, a 55 on his changeup, overall 55, which is unbelievably high. Yeah, I mean, to be a 55 on four pitches as a rookie who just got drafted two years ago you know is stupid. It's absurd. You know what I'll say? Yeah. We gonna find out tonight. Well, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> you, you, it. Oh, you, <laughs> you could be the biggest prospect in the world. It doesn't <laughs> matter unless you do it in the big leagues. So that's my question for you. Tyus, he was I'll great start with in college. You. He dominated in the minors. Tyus, I'll start with you. We'll go around the horn. Man. What are your expectations tonight? Well, what you, one what you talking about? I need at least by, four to five strikeouts. By the way, well, you should better have more than that. By the way, keep in mind. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm trying to set it low. You, you, Keep wow. in mind, they're facing the worst team in baseball. Or that one is of the two true. Worst teams in baseball. That's true. You're facing Oakland, who has with, no lineup. With that being said, six strikeouts, and I even, I'll allow one run. I'll allow one. I'll allow one. That's go fine. ahead, G. Man, How many I, innings? I, I, I just think he has uh, to It's his first start. They're, they're probably about five. I, I think he needs – I would like to see seven strong innings. I would Dude, also, that, wow. I, would, <laughs> I mean, look, I, I would also like – you know, I, I told you what I want to see for Josh, Deshaun Watson. You did say time. that. Yeah, you did. Hey, you know, I I'm trying see, to be practical here. I, well, if he, gets to, if he gets his little, you know, little six, uh, seven innings, I think he should rack up about six, seven strikeouts. And the thing that I'm looking for most is how do you pitch when you're in, in, in traffic? How do you pitch when you got a couple runners on? Are you still going to be aggressive at the plate? Are you still going to be trying to pound the zone? Or are you going to lose some of your control? So I think one thing with, with Gavin Williams is, you know, I don't know if I subscribe to this, but a lot of baseball people talk about guys going out there, getting hit very hard the first time, and then they just go into the tank and they were never the same. Now, I don't understand how you got to that point if that was your that. philosophy. Like, how you can't, you, you know, that if you if think you, that way, yeah. you're not going to be a good player. No, I agree. So, you know, I, I think if he could keep his control and show that he could keep his emotions together, I he mean, should be, Tito should have him in the lineup more, and he, he'll probably end up staying up here. But he can't be <laughs> wavering because Tito will just put another veteran in there. How many strikeouts you say, Phil? Six. Six strikeouts, seven innings, no earned runs. I didn't say no about no ERA. How uh, many runs? Yeah, how many runs? Three, four. Oh, that's man. a lot. I was about to say, God. <laughs> I didn't say he was no, uh, Nolan Ryan. Six, look, I tell you, six Johnson. innings, six strikeouts, right. one run. Let, let me get. Let's get something straight here. <laughs> Gavin Williams has dominated in AAA, correct? Mm-hmm. Most of the Oakland Athletics lineup are AAA players. <laughs> oh my. That's the reality. Here we go. Okay, here they have. <laughs> two, maybe three guys who belong as starters in the majors. The rest of their lineup is guys who should be bench or in playing in AAA, where he is dominated. I'm expecting a huge performance. We've seen Bybee and Allen both come up and be great right off the bat. Mm. Now, you never know about a kid's mental makeup, right? But he play, pitched in the College World Series. He's been hyped since he came, since college. I'm not worried about that. 
I'm expecting him. See, now I don't think he will go as many innings because I think he's going to strike out a ton of guys. So I got him six innings, not seven, because I think early in the game he may be a little pumped up. I think he'll be overthrowing his fastball early and have some command issues, but then he'll settle. He's going to strike out 12 guys in six innings. I got to give him one run. One run, 12 Ks, Dang, that's a seven lot. base runners. God, in six Have we had a pitcher do that this year? What did, Tad, what did Tatter Bybee do in his first start? He was great. They get seven strikeouts. I'll, I'll confirm, but I believe it was seven. Man, this guy's averaging, I this got, guy's averaging, I think, I believe. We got the same thing, but like you double it by strikeouts. About 13, 14 strikeouts per nine innings Dang. in my team. And the A's are a minor league team. You you know more than us. 14? Hey, doesn't mean it's going to work out. He could give up seven runs for we, all We go see. <laughs> I, I, how, I many like, are, how many are runs did you say? I got one run, okay. seven base runners, six innings, 12 strikeouts. Go ahead, Mike. What do you got? You can't bet <laughs> I'm talking on about, You're talking about the Duke of Ninja. <laughs> yeah, Bybee, Bybee in his first start of the season came on April yeah. 26th against Colorado. Yeah. Five and two-thirds innings, six hits, one run, eight strikeouts, 91 pitches. I mean, it's not much different. It's four more strikeouts than Bybee. Now, okay. the Rockies are a bad team, too. Okay. I but mean, it's the, it is the A, so I, but they've been playing well lately. No, they were. They had a good week, and now they've lost like six in a row again. Uh, we, and, it, and it took, a, one, and it took us me. ten innings to beat them. Or did it, when it, well, yeah. it's just the Guardians lineup stakes. I didn't say the Guardians would have scored a ton of runs. <laughs> so, I say he's going to dominate. Are, they, are the A's worse than the Kansas City Royals? Kansas I think City's so. They're, bad. They, they're equal, right? In terms of the standings, I think they have the same record or – within a game of each other. Mm -hmm. I think they're worse. Um, but Kansas City's really awful. They're both going to lose. Oh, they'll yeah. both lose over 100 games. I think. I still think the A's are still on pace. They're both on pace to be around. The 1962 Mets were 40 and 120, which is the worst record in the history of baseball, well, in the modern history of baseball. And, but they were an expansion team, remember? Mm -hmm. um, and so the, neither of these teams are expansion teams. I mean, the World Se the, the Royals were just in the World Series, what, eight years ago? 2014 and 15. And right. Went, and eight, went back. Eight and nine years ago, and they won the World Series. But obviously, every pretty much every player from those teams is gone, except for one or two guys. They stink. Oakland stinks. They're both terrible. Is uh, Bo Naylor in the lineup today? I would assume so. I would assume so. He has not gotten a hit yet. Uh, that's what I was about to say. Is he get, does he get Let's the hit get tonight? worked up about it. It's been, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm just, I was going to say, and Earl said it this morning. I actually agree with Earl. He did. I think that. he hits a home run his first hit today. His first at bat, home run for Bo Naylor. What are y'all? Who is pitching? There is some positivity going on today. Who is pitching for tonight? I mean, it doesn't Woo! all their pitchers stink, but who's pitching for them tonight? According to ESPN, the pitching matchup says it is Gavin Williams versus Paul Blackburn. Uh, he's given, okay. only given up two home runs all year. I mean, yeah, but he's barely – he just came off the – he missed the whole yeah, season. Yeah, he's only pitched like, 21 innings. I need yeah. to put together a parlay the way y'all talk. Paul talking. Blackburn had not pitched like the last two years until a couple of weeks ago. 16 parlays. I'm about to, I need – with 12 strikeouts, Bo Naylor first home run. Listen, 12 Man. strikeouts is a bold prediction. It's not common for a guy in his first major strikeout. That's why you strike out 12. Yeah, but man. it certainly happened with top pitchers in the past. Y'all hear it, boy. Put, put, yeah. Place Listen, the bet. Kerry Wood of the Cubs in his in his fifth major league start struck out twenty, and that was against a great lineup. And this kid is come maybe I can't say he's coming up with the, the same hype that Kerry Wood had. That's not fair, but he's coming up with a lot of hype. And in in baseball circles, what time is this game today? What time the game? It's, it's a seven ten first pitch. And also keep in mind, rookies. No, it's here. Seven ten here, Steve. I'm, I'm ooh wee. Steve tries <laughs> chiming in one time on sports and got the total wrong. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve never opens his mouth when it comes to sports context. What did he say? It was a different time. I said seven ten first pitch. He goes, "It's a West Coast game." I'm like, "No, Steve, it's it's three that blocks." That was last week, Steve. Three blocks up the road Steve, here, buddy. Steve, um, Steve but no, rookies who make their major league debut yeah. oftentimes have a lot of success. I know Jay told us that there's more film on these guys coming out of college, but until MLB hitters have actually seen. Their fastball, you could read it's 98, but not all 98 mile hour fastballs are created equally. The dip on their sliders, their breaking balls. I expect a lot from Gavin Williams tonight. I really yeah, do. Yeah, now, some of these guys, I haven't looked it over yet, but I'm sure some a couple of these guys in the A's lineup have seen Gavin Williams in the minors. They said that the over-under for strikeouts for Gavin Williams is set at five and a half. Oh, love it. Take that's the an over. easy over. <laughs> that's money back. Yeah. Right there. Easy over. Like, 
Yeah, that's, that's money. I mean, all of us if said that, find though. That yeah. right now, all of us. That's what that's uh, Steve Becker just texts. Yeah. <laughs> on FanDuel? I don't know what he's using. I don't know. Steve, well, Texas, what happened? I'm, I'm putting money on that right <laughs> yeah. now. That's real. <laughs> Yo, All right, wow. so anyway, so I my hope so. listen, my expectations so. couldn't be any higher for Gavin Williams. By the way, if he doesn't pitch great tonight, don't make you know, don't go over the top about it. It's one start. But I expect him to come to the big leagues and dominate right away. That's my expectation. We'll hope it happens. Did the other three did the, the other three prospects that's ahead of him? A painter hasn't pitched in the big leagues yet. He's been hurt. Yuri Perez came up and I believe was excellent in his first start, if I remember correctly. For the Marlins? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was really good. He was really good. The first guy you mentioned, I actually don't know him. <laughs> I left the page. Let me go back to it. Um, uh, I need to. I Taj to... Bradley, I think, struggled in his first start. And Andrew uh, Painter for the Phillies? No, Painter spit was hurt earlier in the season. Yeah, he's, well, he's only in double-A right now. Yeah. The pitch was Yuri Perez. Him, I know. Andrew Painter. Yeah, you mentioned a guy with the Royals, I think. <laughs> no, uh, Kyle Harrison with the Giants. Uh, you see, him I don't know. He He's must tri- be lower AAA. down the minors. Is he? Yeah, Triple A. Oh, he is in Triple A. Yeah. And, I, and I Tanner and Tanner Bybee and Logan Allen's first starts was really good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, hey. Well, you know, uh, hey. Twelve strikeouts it is. Then. I, I think. I think. <laughs> I think we have to temper some things because, you know, what more were they gonna do? Like, think about it. They would. They're not gonna really spend any more money. They really don't have any reinforcements, so to speak. So you you pretty yeah. much gotta hey, play your young guys. We were saying you gotta call call guys up. Well, they called up their best catching prospect, and Boom. now they've called up their best p- pitching prospect. That's what they need to do. That's what this team doesn't spend enough money because the owner's cheap, and so it's the more, hope is that your best prospect <laughs> pan out. It, it's more palatable now because at least you can see the the, the you know the fruits of your labor. What we've right. been saved, what right. we won't trade well, away. Here's what you've been missing. <laughs> And it's a perfect time to introduce those players because the, when the, the only thing that keeps you from keeps you playing vets is you have a track record with them, and right. you know what the, what they're about. Sometimes, once again, we talk about change in people's lives. Change comes, and you have to adapt on the fly, and people have a very difficult time doing that. That's true, and especially a veteran manager like Terry Francona, he's used to go with veterans. I think over the years he's adjusted and has done a better job with young players. But uh, he's still, yeah, a lot of guy. You want to lean on a guy that you know has done there, has been there and done that before. All right, we'll leave the Guardians for now. But but everybody should be locked into this game tonight. I know as soon as I get home, I'm, I'm locked into this I'm, game. We will discuss I, it I'm in sure late tomorrow it as well. So should be perfect timing because our game will probably be over right around seven o'clock, and then we go home and watch I, the Guardians. And I do 